The MG Metro Cup is sponsored by Drayton Manor Theme Park. Welcome along to the MG Car Club, Drayton Manor Park, MG Metro Cup, the second event of the season coming to you from the Indy circuit here at Brands Hatch. Championship led by Ben Rushworth after his win at Donington Park back in April. Mike Williams holds second position and Barry's down in the paddock getting the latest gossip. Ollie, here we are, Brands Hatch round two. Um, qualified fourth, just tell us about that. Yeah, we had a very last minute panic on the car. We had a brake issue where we were leaking brake fluid. Uh, so it was a quick rush to get that done, uh, to get up to the qualifying. We hadn't been scrutineered at that point, so it was a call in at scrutineers, get scrutineered and then up to qualifying. Uh, the qualifying went reasonably well. Um, it was more of get out there, forget everything that had happened and get my head down and luckily I managed to qualify fourth which I thought was pretty good considering the circumstances. Excellent and um, what seems like ideal weather conditions today as well? It should be perfect yeah hopefully no rain although if it does rain I'm fairly happy because I do go well in the wet so either way hopefully it should be a win-win. Just done qualifying how did it go? I qualified 16th out of 19, um, 18 on the grid at the moment but Andrew Ashton's just sorting his brakes so he's starting at the back. So yeah, 16th, I'm happy, a lot better than last year, so I will be going for it. We met up with you and your family last year, it's a great team car this and, and the, you do share this, but this season, a slight change, you're the primary driver. Yeah, I managed to get all of the races off this season, so as my last time as under 21, I'm going to try and do all the race meetings so that I can try and get some more points for myself and get higher up in the championship. Lee, first season in racing, great to see in the Metro Cup. How are you finding it so far? Yeah, brilliant. A uh, lot of fun, a lot of good driving, a lot of clean driving as well, which, uh, which I find very important with it. So, yeah, good fun. Now, what attracted you to this championship? Uh, well, I've got a couple of friends that do it um, in the Ashtons, Purple Helmets. Um, my dad does it. My dad raced last year, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd join him and try beating for this year. Now, a great prepared car, uh, but it has a bit of pedigree, doesn't it? Yes, it did. Uh, uh, belonged to Tom Sarnson, uh, championship uh, winner of last year and, and other championship wins. Um, so yeah, it was a good, good buy, definitely. So does that make you a target or, or does it make it psychologically a bit easier? Uh, I think psychologically easier because you, I know that I've got, I've got a good car. So it's, if I'm not doing well, it's me, not the car. So Tom, great to see you on the uh, grid for this round. Um, Donington wasn't so good. Just brings up to date, what happened there? Uh, we did four laps of of quality and um, yeah the engine decided to go bang so went down to two cylinders I well, went down to three then down to two seemed to be no well, oil pressure gauge went straight up temperature gauge went straight out of the roof and game over basically um, try to get it ready for the race um, we had the head apart in less than 20 minutes um, yeah it just fell apart really but yeah <laughs> Disappointing in an early bath, as they, as they say, for that event. So, um, but back in strength now and qualifying, how was that? Uh, brand new head on, been skimmed, new egg gasket, getting the engine. It's only ran before this for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes max, probably. So it's just giving the car a run, really. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Um, don't know where I am on the grid, but it's good enough for what the engine's done. But we'll push harder in the race, really and see what the car can do. Ian, ninth on the grid, how's it feeling going to this first race? Yeah, I'm pleased with ninth on the grid. Gonna try and get a little bit quicker, follow the A-series cars in front of me and pick up some tips and pick up some real good lines. And there's a lot of good camaraderie in the paddock as well. Yeah, really good camaraderie. Um, I've been around in the paddock since 1987 when Dad first started racing. And um, so we know a lot of the people in the metros and uh, we have some real good times.
a fine entry of MG Metros lining up for round two of the championship. Double header this weekend at Brands Hatch. And pole position goes to Ben Rushworth, the immaculately prepared 48 car. Mike Williams is alongside the multi multiple winner in this formula in days gone by. Off the line they go, quick start by Darren Angered in the light blue and white car. Gets away well there, number 15, looking up the inside line of Mark Eels in 44, but it was a very quick start from the outside of the front row for Mike Williams. Williams leads, Rushworth in second. Then in uh, third place, it's Oliver Hood from Jack Ashton, then David James in orange. And Rushworth putting pressure on Mike Williams for the lead. Fine sight these cars make coming out of Druids for the first time. Richard Garrard looking down the inside line of Justin Marsden. Ian Dowler immediately ahead in 32. Over the kerbs goes Marsden. Didn't get the run he wanted. It looks like Richard Garrard's going to make the pass. But out front, it's Mike Williams in lead position. Here comes Andrew Ashton coming through the purple and green car. Tim Davies there in 29, followed by Mark Eels. Mark inside the top 10 in round number one. So, conclusion of lap number one of this timed race, which will be 20 minutes, 66 to the outside line, Justin Marsden. And here we go in car with Ben Rushworth, who looks up the inside, a wide line there from Mike Williams, and Rushworth takes the lead. Here's the view from Ollie Hood. You can see the leaders battling in front. Jack Ashton is up into third place. Hood looking round the outside line and it looks like a problem sadly for Mike Williams, car number 28. Double winner last year, has uh, taken three titles in this formula but it looks like game over here as Ian Dowler goes along Cooper straight. So Williams who is second at Mallory Park, uh, sorry at Donington Park, we go to Mallory later on in the year. Uh, seemingly out of this one but uh, 10 races over the course of the championship so still plenty of time for Mike Williams to sort himself out and hopefully he'll be back out later on in this meeting there is Lee Connell in car number 16 as you can see newcomer to race in the little yellow square with a black cross on the back of the car and into pit lane goes Mike Williams so it's the second and a retirement for Williams thus far this year. Round one was the first weekend in April. And our next meeting is the first weekend of June at Silverstone. So please make your way up to Silverstone or down to Silverstone, depending where you're coming from, and join us for some great racing. There is Ollie Hood, though, up ahead of the 96 car of David Javes. And then following them, it's Lee Connell, a little bit of a gap back before we pick up on Richard Garrard in 49, coming under pressure from Andrew Ashton. Immaculate looking car, the Ashton's team turning out some very smart looking cars, but losing a little bit of ground at the moment on Richard Garrard. In car though we go with Ben Rushworth, the man from West Sussex. Oh, and Rushworth has a problem! Sideways into Paddock Hill Bend. How he held on to that, I don't know. Just watch the feet going and Rushworth loses the lead and up into the lead goes Jack Ashton so Ashton leads there is Ollie Hood round the outside Rushworth's got the momentum back and the bit firmly between his teeth and takes second position back after that moment at Paddock Hill Bed that was a real heart stopper for Ben Rushworth but the way he collected it up and regained his composure I take my hat off to him here's the view from Ollie Hood third place at the moment well that was a scare it was a little bit of a roller coaster ride right, which is appropriate with Drayton Manor theme park being the sponsors so Ben Rushworth trying to close down on the leader again starting to get away from Olive Hood after that scare how's he going to negotiate Paddock this time was it a fault with the car we'll have to wait and see we've definitely got a race on our hands at the moment so Jack Ashton is the race leader Ben Rushworth second then it's Ollie Hood so through Paddock Hill Bend, they're all okay this time. Up Halewoods Hill and up towards Druids. Thomas Burles in 65 about to effect a pass, the man from Bath. And he's racing Tim Davies here. Car number 29, Tim with uh, the non-finish at Donington Park. And obviously as we heard, problems for Tom Burles in qualifying. So both those guys looking to 
get the first race finish of the season under their belts but the battle is on for the lead because Ben Rushworth has fought back and has clawed his way onto the back end of Jack Ashton's car this is Clark Curve, let's see what sort of a run the Mini Spares back machine can get along the Brabham Strait, he's right in the slipstream, this is shaping up for a move, and he's on the outside line into Paddock where he had the problem, very clearly has lost none of his bravery and sweeps around the outside into the lead, and again you saw the car wanting to break away, that was real brave stuff from Ben Rushworth, Jack Ashton down to second, but Ashton's got a quicker line into Druids, and he's all over the back of the lead car, but surely with the confidence that Rushworth, Rushworth has there, he should be able to hold on to the lead. He was down in third place at one moment after that incident at Paddock, and he reclaims the lead. So some very good racing going on. There is Stephen Hinchcliffe, the 42-year-old from Mansfield in the orange and white car, trying to chase down on Tim Davies. Thomas Burles is up ahead. So Hinchcliffe, car number 11, another driver who retired in round number one of the year, but things all looking pretty good at the moment. So Hinchcliffe getting onto the back bumper of Tim Davies. Meanwhile, a scrap going on between David Javes and Oliver Hood. So Javes is making very good progress here and challenging for third place. So this is all about the last step on the podium. In two certies they go, and we'll catch up with them again after this break. Welcome back to Brands Hatch. We're looking at 65 Thomas Burles ahead of Tim Davies, and then the orange and white car of Stephen Hinchcliffe all engaged in battle and Hinchcliffe has a look at the inside line here I think he's going to make the pass on the inside which which converts to the outside as they go through McLaren and then out into clearways and it's a long run but this wider line for the number 11 car may well wind up with a bit more momentum which seems to be the case and the pass is made on the outside of Tim Davis. so very good pass there by Stephen Hinchcliffe which started with looking up the inside line going into Surtees. So the whole move taking about a third of a lap to execute, but that's the life of a racing driver and a, a good move to see. So back to Ollie Hood, still ahead of David James at the moment. It's still Ben Rushworth, the race leader. He's got the fastest lap of the race too. As we watch this dice going on for third position and Ollie Hood, I think he's going to be passed inside line for the number 96 car, David James trying to go through on the inside line and makes the move, there, there we go, in car with Oliver Hood, nothing he could do, there was a gap there and David James goes through, makes the pass, in behind them we've got Lee Connell in the white car wanting to come back, now can Ollie Hood get the fight back and maybe close down and get back on terms with David James. Thomas Burles now down behind car number 29 Timothy Davies and Kyla Birdseye our lady racer in the mix as well Bells looks to the inside line here and he's going to try and squeeze through on the inside of Timothy Davies and it could be that Kyla's going to maybe nip through and make the pass as well you can see up front we've got Stephen Hinchcliffe just edg edging away from this group Bells can't do anything at the moment about the number 29 car so Timothy Davies holds on to position from Thomas Bells who locks up there and Kyla would have seen that and maybe might see that as perhaps a potential passing opportunity later on in the race. Meantime, we go back to the leader, Ben Rushworth, looking for his second win of the season. A long Cooper straight, very neat tide. He's going to start getting into some back marker traffic very shortly. What a terrific shot we have from the race leader. So Rushworth with just one mistake. We've got wave jellos there and off to Thomas Bowles. Bowles is off the circuit in the gravel thankfully he is safe and well but the car is very definitely embedded in the gravel we saw him have a lock up slightly going into Druids back we go to Andrew Ashton from Ollie Hood and then Lee Connell David Javes still in third up ahead so Oliver Hood's lost another place now to Andrew Ashton who's had a great drive in this one we'll see whether he can pull 
away from the 24-year-old from Southampton, Ollie Hood. One of a chasing down. This corner here, Paddock Hill Bend, it just drops away. It's one of the most fearsome corners anywhere in the world. It's a, a wonderful place to come and race. It's a great place to come and watch your racing because at 1.2 miles, you can see pretty much most of the circuit from wherever you are in terms of spectator vantage points. And that's why this sort of racing always goes down well with the people that come and watch. So Hood still trying to chase down Andrew Ashton. Hood in fifth position. Lee Connell immediately behind is in sixth. And uh, he was fourth in round one at Donington Park. So the Team Purple Helmets car looking to try and close up. Uh, fair gap at the moment between the two. Connell comes from Milton Keynes, 23 years of age. Goes into Paddock Hill Bend. Meanwhile, we drop down the order, and this is uh, Dan Willars being chased by Darren Angood. Not that far down the order, actually. Yeah, Dan Willars in 10th place, Darren Angood in 11th at the moment. So they go across the line, tick off another lap, and they're trying to. Uh, they're immediately ahead of, of Tim Davies and company. So that's the track position uh, for those guys. And Justin Marsden immediately ahead, just got out of shot in red and silver. He's around Druids. And up the inside goes the 15 car. So Darren Angood looking in pretty good form there as Lee Connell gets closer to Oliver Hood. Andrew Ashton getting away from Oliver Hood at the moment. So still Ben Rushworth, Jack Ashton in P2, David James P3. And this is the scrap for fifth place. Past the stricken car of Thomas Bells, who comes to the third retirement of the race. We lost Mike Williams early on, Mark Eels out as well, and Thomas Bells we saw uh, join them. And Stephen Hinchcliffe coming under pressure from Tim Davies. Jack Ashton is into lapping territory with these two. Really great driving there by Tim Davies, who pulls well clear. Stephen Hinchcliffe lets the front runner through as well. Ashton running second behind Ben Rushworth at the moment. So these guys have had a lap put on them already by the first and second place drivers. Just looking in the distance to see if we could see the race leader. I can't see Ben Rushworth at the minute. He's got a pretty good lead. It's uh, see if we can see him through shot there. No, he's got a, a very, very healthy lead as we approach the final stages of round two of the MG Car Club Drake Manor Park MG Metro Cup. So Ashton in second, and then it's Stephen Hinchcliffe followed by Tim Davies. 12th and 13th position. Kyla Birdseye is trying to close down on those as well. In fact, it's David James next in shot. Kyla Birdseye is the next car in position. And looking up the inside again, Tim Davies having a very good look. Meanwhile, Oliver Hood and Lee Connell. This has been a, an entertaining battle throughout the course of the day, and you can see here that Connell has caught Ollie Hood now. Looks to the outside line. This isn't for the pass. This is for momentum and, and uh, line out of the corner as we go back to Ben Rushworth, the race leader. Some 12 seconds clear in the race at the moment over Jack Ashton. Oh, and off goes Stephen Hitchcliffe's retired. Hitchcliffe out of the race. He was running very well. And sadly, a second retirement of the season for the Mansfield driver. But back to Ollie Hood. Seems to just be developing a little bit of pace now over Lee Connell. Darren Angood in car number 15. Ahead of Dan Willars. Angood running in 10th. Willars in 11th place. Through ahead of them, Justin Marsden. So Willars will try and see whether he can just work his way back into it and hunt down Darren Angood. Willars looking for his first top 10 of the year, 12th position for him at Donington Park. Darren Angood took 11th, but here is Ben Rushworth again crossing the line and on to his last lap to make it a double win to open up the season. Still got a great race going on between these two and it's Willars now ahead of Darren Angood so up into the top 10 but it's not over yet and round the outside line goes Darren Angood gets the position back so Dan Willows has got to try and fight back again 
Ollie Hood and Lee Connell still at it. Connell into attacking position now. Wide line. High, wide and handsome. Into Paddock Hill. Bend is the back end going to want to break away. It looks like he's got good momentum. And Connell up the inside here of the Oliver Hood car. Ollie's on the outside line here at Druids. Look at him hanging on here. Is he going to hang on to position? No, he doesn't. And through goes Lee Connell. Connell's through into sixth position ahead of Oliver Hood. But meanwhile, Ben Rushworth is going to take the chequered flag, laps the number 15 car of Darren Angan in doing so, takes his second win of the season. And here's Ollie Hood back up the inside line. Cracking stuff. Hood back into fifth position. It's going to be about the run to the flag for those two. Jack Ashton has taken second. There is David James in third place. Andrew Ashton in fourth. Ollie Hood, I can tell you, did just fend off Lee Connell after a great scrap to end round two of the championship well, we're looking at the second place man Jack Ashton in car number 98 fastest lap went to Ben Rushworth first fastest lap of the year there is David Javes who takes third position Ben Rushworth though a first fastest lap of the season two pole positions for him he'll take pole in round three as well Rushworth from Ashton and Javes Andrew Ashton in fourth from Ollie Hood then Lee Connell and Richard Garrod, Ian Dowler, 8th from Justin Marsden, Dan Willars in 10th. 11th place went to Darren Angood and following him Tim Davies and Kyla Birdseye with Terry Wood in 14th. Non-finishes for Stephen Hinchcliffe, Tom Burles, Mark Eels and sadly Mike Williams. Ben, congratulations, round two, another win, but not easy, it was some heavy moments at the start. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I got caught out on the start, Mike got a great start, and uh, my plan was to settle down and behind him if that was the case, and then coming up the straight at the end of the first lap, um, he was really slow, so I sort of bumped him a bit, trying, I said, like, let's go, let's go, and then realised after Paddock Hill, he must have had a problem, so he slowed down, so he went past, and then I thought, all right, let's settle down into a routine. And game was have a massive moment around uh, Paddock Hill Ben and, and Jack got past me and I thought let's you know strike whilst the iron's hot I've got to get back quick because I knew I had the, the pace to pull away and clear out um, so that was the plan and it seems to have worked out I'm really happy with that. Jack another exciting race there just tell us about that from your point of view. Well it's uh, extremely good to be fair I mean uh, it's uh, my best result well joint best result I've ever had and uh, also led the race for the first time in my life which is Unbelievable seeing nothing in front of you, uh, but it was a great, it was great, absolutely great. Uh, second is all more than what I wanted to this weekend, so it's good. Fantastic podium result there, and especially uh, good after Donington. Yeah, great. Um, we had a, a mechanical failure and an electrical problem, and that was qualifying a race, so I didn't do a, a lap in the race at Donington. So this is really, uh, really special today. He ran well all race by the look of it, and then uh, you had to go through some back markers as well? Yeah, sure, they're, they're very good, very good. Everybody pulled over, the blue flag guys uh, were waving furiously at times, but uh, everybody was clean, so good race, no paint spots anywhere. So Ben Rushworth still leads the championship from Andrew Ashton, Lee Connell in third, then Ollie Hood and Richard Garrard. Mike Williams is sixth from Ian Dowler, and then Jack Ashton, David Javes, and Darren Angard in tenth. Join us next time for more action from Brad Hatch.